Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give our honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Ruel. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect pushing the true doctrine across the four winds of earth and all truth and in sincerity. I'm Lamad Ariyah from the Mississippi camp. Lord willing, this be Lord willing, this will be an edifying lesson. And uh, hey, this is just gonna be a quick lesson through the spirit, man, to the point that we're in a time, you know, now we gotta, or more or less, I say people, because hey, brothers, we already have faith and believe in how about Shem Yahshua. We just pray to the Lord, man, that we continue to endure and keep our faith, continue to have hope, you know, and to keep pushing. But we're in that time now when people are gonna have to make up their minds, man, and, and, and choose who they're gonna believe in, who they're gonna follow, where their faith is gonna lie. Because at the end of the day, the only way we're gonna make it is through the grace and the mercy of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh You know, we got to have the, the, the belief. We have to have faith. We have to truly believe that everything that's written throughout the scriptures is, as the Lord say, is faithful and true. And we're going to have to uh, move on it and just know that the Lord is going to come through for us, man. There's been many accounts throughout the scriptures where the Lord has proven that he's there uh, uh, for his people, man. And it's been shown many a times. And one of the prime uh, examples is the great exodus out of Egypt. The Lord was with his people, man. But as usual, Israel started going off, worshiping false idols, building the golden calves, so on and so forth. You know, just being inconsiderate being ungrateful and see the Lord had reserved the remnant for this go around and he also going to have mercy on that large multitude of men, women and children who believe so that's what it's going to boil down to who's going to believe, who who has faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh who truly know through the spirit and believe that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is going to do what they say man so I'm going to get a few scriptures here And I'm going to close it out We're going to start in the book of Proverbs Chapter 5 starting at So like in chapter uh, Proverbs chapter 3 starting in verse 5 Trust in the Lord Yahweh with all thy heart And lean not unto your own Understanding In all thy ways acknowledge him And he shall direct thy paths And, and that's what we have to do man We have to trust in the Lord Okay, and we have to pray, man, to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and, and, and those thoughts uh, or thinking that we know what we're doing and we 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 our, our opinions and and what we feel we should do. Hey, you know that that has to kind of pretty much be pushed to the wayside, man. We're coming in that time, man. We're in that time where we have to rely on Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So we have to have faith, man. We have to pray. Pray, pray to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai that he directs our step, man. That he guides our thoughts. That he helps us to move in the way that he expects us to move, man. To follow the spirit, be in the spirit. To know that the Lord is dealing, man. And not just go off of your own emotions or your own impulses or or just, just being, you know, just a, a, a live wire. You know, we have to have patience. And, and, and pray, man, and, and continue to pray that the Lord direct our steps, man. Okay? Acknowledge him as the most high. Acknowledge Yahweh Shai as the only begotten son, as the savior, man. We have to do that. And we have to believe that. That the Lord may direct our paths, man. So we won't move to the way of destruction. But be moved in the, to the way of deliverance, man, to the way of safety. The scripture speaks on that the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, those names, man, that they are a, 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 a strong tower and the righteous shall run to them and be saved, man. So we have to remember that those names are very important, man. And to acknowledge Yahweh Bashim Yahushai 
is very important, man. And to believe in those names, believe in those those entities, man, believe in our powers that we may have a sense of direction, man. A spiritual sense of direction. Because the Lord just said, if we acknowledge him, he shall direct our paths, man. We have to believe that. And these people out in the world, they don't believe that. That's why they're going to be destroyed, man. That's why, you know, bodies going to be hitting the flow. That's why when people start seeing the things going on throughout the earth, the scriptures say, uh, men's heart shall fail them because of the thing they see happening throughout the earth, man. And it says men, but that's women, children, you know, anyone who the spirit isn't dealing with are going to be going bananas, man. They're going to be losing their minds. Okay. Just the book of Matthew, chapter 6, starting in verse 24. No man can serve two masters, for there, for either he will hate one and love the other, or else will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and Mammon. Right, man, because hey, Esau has his science, all his different philosophies. You know, and people gravitate, they take to that. That's why the the men of the Lord, the Lord's prophets, people get so pissed off and, and hate it and hate the prophets because we're speaking the truth. And they don't want to uh, uh, gravitate to it because they got them demons on them and, and they're rejecting the truth, man. So, so they have a master, which is that demon that's utterly or ultimately uh, uh, the devil, man. And then, you know, they worship Esau because some people believe everything this devil say, man. So some people actually uh, uh, made Esau their God, their power, man. That's why it's going to be so uh, easy for a lot of people in this world, on this earth, to submit and take the uh, uh, grain of rice size device, man. You know, the, the M-O-T to the B. Because they are making Esau. They're making science. They're going to make the, the M-O-T to the B. Their, their God, man, because that's what they believe in. Okay? Verse 25. Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life. What ye shall eat or what ye shall drink. Not nor yet for your body what ye shall put on is not the life more than meat and the body than remnant. So we we that's that again we gotta have faith in you how about me how shot. We gotta trust in the Lord with all our heart and lean not to our own salvation uh, uh, our own understanding, man. That that's why because we're coming in a time of famine. Pestilence, Jacob's trouble. We're going to be pilgrims among the earth, man. We're not going to know where our next meal coming from, our next drink coming from, where we're going to uh, have, if, where we're going to uh, be sheltered, you know? What we're going to have on. We don't know these things, man. But we got to have faith in Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai and believe that the Lord is going to come through, man. As he said he was. And he is. And, and there's been accounts in the past that proves that for man. You know? Elijah. You know, the Lord had him moving. He told him where to go to drink water from the brooks, man. He had fowls to bring him meat. Okay? And there are other examples. But the Lord is going to look out, man. But you got to have faith, man. You got to believe. Verse 26. Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather itself barns, yet your heavenly Father feed them. Are ye not more much better than they? So, and it's crazy because I was at the shop one day just looking out the window, man, and this bird, this bird just came down and somebody at the laundromat, I guess they had threw out some, some bread or some, you know, and, 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 and a bird, a couple of birds, matter of fact, came, you know, soared down, got the bread, 
and, 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 and uh, took off again. And that's that, and that's and I thought about that scripture, man. I thought about that, man. So, hey, and, and the Lord is taking care of of birds and animals, man. So how much more his people, starting with his elect? You know that that was a faith builder, man. The Lord is gonna look after his people, man. Starting with his elect, man, one hundred and forty-four thousand men of the nation of Israel, man. 12,000 men out of each tribe. Okay? This is the book of John, chapter 14, starting at verse 11. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also and greater works than these shall he do because I go unto my father. So there's accounts, man, of the thing the Lord, the Lord did, man, Yahweh Shai did, man. You know, he, he, he healed the sick, you know. He gave sight to the blind. I mean, he, he, it was, he, he turned water to wine. He made the lame walk. I mean, the Lord has done many miracles, man. And it's documented throughout the scriptures. Not, not even half of them, man, of the miracles the Lord done did. Uh, so much the Lord did is not even in the scriptures, man. But it, it, you won't believe that unless you have faith, man, and believe that he did what he did according to the scriptures. So we got to believe in Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai, man. Just as our forefathers did in the days of old, man. They believed in the Most High. Okay? They believed in uh, uh, Abraham, believed in the Most High. Isaac believed in the Most High. Jacob believed in the Most High. Moses believed in the Most High. Joshua believed in the Most High. King David believed in the Most High. These men believed and had faith in the Most High, man. So how much us, man, more in Yahweh Shai? Like Peter, Paul, Jeremiah, you know? We got to have that same faith. We still, we got to have that same belief, man. We're those same men back today, man. And we got to have that same belief, that same faith, man, that same hope, and them, that same patience, man, and just wait upon Yahweh Bashem Shai, man. Wait upon Yahweh Shai and believe that the Lord is going to help us move the way we need to move, man, that we will be preserved and protected, man. And the Lord is going to eventually lift the standard, man. He said that he was going to give us fame in the land where we would put the shame. Roughly paraphrasing. Do you not believe that? I do. I do. So, yeah, man, we just got to keep on pushing, man, because, you know, it's going to be a lot of people getting destroyed. It's going to be a lot of people being put to death. It's going to be a lot of people going to be in a bad case, man. And they're not going to have any hedge, no protection, because they're going to believe in the system. They're going to believe in Esau. They're going to believe in the MOTB. You know, they're going to believe in themselves. But they're not going to believe in your high by I was shot. But the Lord has a remnant who's going to believe. He has a remnant who's going to follow uh, uh, the paths of righteousness, man. He has a remnant who's going to trust in Yahweh by Shimei Al-Shai with all our hearts, man. And not lean to our own understanding, man. Let the Lord do his work, man. And let the spirit move us. Okay? So, man, it was just a quick lesson through the spirit. And Lord willing, it was edifying. I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders, great millstone and rule well. Peace and salutation to the hopeful elect. Shalom.